Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Happy Wednesday morning. We are starting the day with a mix of sunshine and clouds outside. We've also got very warm temperatures. Currently, we sit at 78. It feels more like 79. Winds at this time nice and calm, but notice our visibility is reduced to 8 miles. Around the area, we see even lower visibility. 5 miles in Gonzales, 7 in New Roads, and then New Iberia at 4 miles. So as you head out this morning, there could be a few areas with some reduced visibility, maybe due to some patchy fog. So drive safely. Remember to put on your low beams if you are in an area with a little bit of fog. Otherwise, temperatures are generally in the upper 70s and lower 80s. We're finally starting to see some warmer temperatures. 78 in New Roads and in Gonzales, 80 in Thibodeau, and then in New Orleans, already at 84 degrees. Our dew points are in the mid to upper 70s, and that's making it feel steamy outside. As the day continues, it's going to feel more like the mid 90s to the upper 90s, so just make sure to practice heat safety. As we head into midday, we could start to see a few spotty showers and storms. Even at times, we're looking at the potential for some heavy rain, but then as we head into the overnight hours, we're dropping into the 70s, but we stay mainly dry. So it's going to be another very warm night. Now, the main thing has been storms over the past few days, and that's what we're going to continue to see. Today's storms look to be spotty, possibly beginning early this afternoon, continuing into the evening. At times, we could also be dealing with some heavy rain, but going forward, that's really the same scenario. Every day, there's the chance at least for a spotty storm, but we'll have some warm temperatures, making it feel more like summer. This is our overall setup. There is a cold front across a good portion of the country. That front has actually stalled over our area, so it could lead to some spotty shower storms and even some heavy rain at times. Now, that heavy rain could lead to localized flooding, possibly some ponding. Areas in green under a marginal risk for excessive rainfall through tomorrow morning due to that potential for some heavy rain. Notice around midday, we start to see those storms fire up. They should be brief, but at times there's that chance for heavy rain. Even for the evening, your commute could be a wet one, so make sure to drive safely and check the radar before you head out. Heading into tomorrow morning, starting off mostly dry, but by the afternoon and then into the evening, still looking at the chance for a few spotty showers and storms. But the good news is it doesn't look like the days are going to be washouts. Over the next seven days, there is the daily chance for a few spotty showers and storms. Over the weekend, we're looking at a 40% chance for showers and storms, so we're not expecting a washout, but we still could be looking at spotty showers. Generally, we're talking less than two inches, possibly a few spots at two and a half inches of rain, so manageable amounts. We're also keeping an eye on the tropics. An area has a 10% chance of formation, but really not expecting that system to develop. Today, we're rising to about 90 with the chance for passing storms and a little bit of heavy rain, but overnight, we start to dry out. Temperatures are dropping into the mid-70s, and then going forward, we keep the warm temperatures, upper 80s and lower 90s for much of the week. Mostly uh, scattered showers over the weekend, possibly a little bit of heavy rain, and then heading into next week, below average temperatures. Now, let's get 